It's close to sunset on a late summer day, and we're with Jaime Rodriguez, better known as J-Rod, along with his son Kane and friend Matthew Fairbank. What's up, Scuba? Where they at? We're on the Columbia River at Umatilla, which is east of the Columbia River Gorge, an area well known for quality walleye fishing, especially at night in summer. The big walleye will move shallow at night to feed on minnows, so large minnow imitating lures are on the menu. All right, Kane, once we get positioned right here, Kane, we're gonna get out one hot wing, and we're gonna put on Justin's lures, the, the Spros, and then we're gonna start getting a program going. I'm gonna run a Phantom, you're gonna run a Bandit, yeah, I can run a bit. See what the action's at, see what they want, and then we can all switch out from there. Okay. So let's just let's just go let's just go for that right now and then it's not so much color guys, it's just it's action right now. But if you have a favorite color, go ahead and put it on. And then we're gonna Kane, you wanna get out the pro cure? Out of that backpack please. It's a cool looking bait, man. Dang. Look at that. Some people say I'm a little over excessive with this stuff, but I'll just put a little bit, kind of just give a little there, and then I'll just kind of rub a little bit on the bill. There you go. So that thing's gonna go out. And this says this dives uh, to 20 feet, so we will put a snap weight on this to get it down. Perfect. So this one we're gonna run up the top. Let's see. I'm gonna run this one. What one do I run this? What's that? What am I going to You are going to run, I would run this one right now. Okay. Yeah, kind of see what they want. So we're just, we just basically have a different uh, array of, of crankbaits. We have cer same, similar profiles, it's just the wobbles are different in every single one that we're going to run. We're going to let the fish pretty much tell us what they want with, with the action of the lure. We can start dialing in color once we get the action dialed in. Ooh. We're going to long line three of the rods. And the other rod, we're actually going to put a snap weight on it. So long lining is just how it is, how it sounds. It's just letting out a certain amount of line to get these crankbaits. These crankbaits dive to 18 to 24 feet. So I'm going to let out approximately 140, 135, 140 uh, feet. Okay, you got the you got the hot wing on on yours, right? Yeah, run yours in line. So, all right. Yeah. So here we go. This one's just yeah. This one's just gonna. You're gonna go out that side though, but yeah. 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 Yep. So you're just, going out 140. Yep. That one's gonna go straight down, right? Yeah. Now we're gonna snap weight the front one. Okay. We're set at 140, and we're gonna go with a medium. I call it a medium light with the bait clickers on. So we want these fish to pretty much hook themselves. Just a little bit more, and that's that's where we're gonna be at. Set it in the rod holder, and just wait for that to go off. And we're just gonna run some of my my waypoints on my graph here. So I like to fish areas where water kind of goes back into or dumps dumps out. So if you got like a creek or a mouth of a river, in this case we have a slough off to the left that we're gonna fish in front of and the idea is is the fish when the sun starts to come down the fish kind of go into the shallows into these backwater channels and feed on on smaller bait fish so we got that rod set back here we have a a different type of crankbait what do you got i got a bandit on there. bandit and then you got a 130 where you yeah, at? I went at 140 140 that's fine yep. then out the back we have the hot wing the max hot wing Go 130. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna set out the snap uh, the snap weight on the front rod. We're gonna go 30 on the line counter. Once he gets to 30, he's gonna swing me in the line and we're gonna snap on this weight. And he's gonna go until that weight hits bottom. And he'll feel the thump. You'll see his line go boom. Give it one of those, make sure he engages the bottom, let a little line out more, and then he's fishing. What do you got on your line counter? 87. So you got 87 up front, and I'm back 140 up on the side rod, so that gives it that, that stagger, that stagger that we need when we're walleye fishing. 
So in the summer months, I like to to target speeds a little faster than I would say in the pre in the pre spawn season. So my my bottom end speed might be 1.5, and my top end might be a 2.1 speed over ground. When we're fishing walleye in the pre spawn, that changes significantly uh, as far as speed. We're we're like 0.9 just right under one point miles per hour to maybe like a one, 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 two. Fish on, fish, fish on. Oh, he's jumping. He's right here, dude. I think we're tangled. Might be a bass. You got him, bud? Is he locked in? Okay. Let me know when you get to 30. I'm gonna take that snap weight off. Okay, you're free, go. You're neutral, see what it is. Over there. Oh, it's a nice smallie. Nice. Okay, we're gonna keep going. You guys can handle that. Welcome back to the Columbia River. I'm Justin Wolf. We're fishing at Umatilla with J. Rod Rodriguez, his son Kane, or C. Rod, and friend Matthew Fairbank, targeting big walleye. But the first fish to the boat is a good sized smallmouth that hit a Mad Eye Minnow 120. If we start getting any further into the night, we won't catch them. They don't hit typically during the night. Yeah, there's some big smallmouth out here to be had. So, I mean, if you take a, one or two out of the system, it's definitely not gonna hurt the, the fishery for the smallmouth. Get that sucker down there. See if that one could get a walleye to, to go. What were you on the line counter before? Just just go 85, 88. You're good. It'll get there. So you got you have to have a good quality night stick. I found through buying tons and tons of, of glow sticks that these in particular last tonight, the last a week when we come back, uh, and maybe even a week after that. So, and all this is is just a strike indicator. We're gonna put it on the tip of our rod so that we could actually see the vibration of our lure and when we do get a strike we'll see it uh take down so again just all it is is a nice little glow stick and i have some pre-tied zip ties on my rod tips if you want oh, okay, come on. Okay. Easy thing, easy. Tighten up that drag, bud. Go up. just drill all the way until we're gonna reel this one all the way up that 160. 160? Ooh, <laughs> Can I get the net? Move the net for you, bud. Okay, I got both. Lift, lift, bud. Real, real, bud. Lift. Oh. Oh yeah. What is it? It's a good one. Okay. This is what we come here for. Columbia River Gold. And she is in the net pretty good. 23 and a quarter. Yep. So she's gonna go back for you. <laughs> Flish, fish. There we go. We'll give her a little kiss for you. She's gonna go back. You wanna go neutral for me? There she goes. So out here we like to uh, release, on my boat, we like to release the, the bigger fish. So anything. 22 inches and over, we we tend to release. Uh, the eater size for us is like 15, 22 inches, depending on what time of year. So if we're in the pre-spawn and I catch a 20 inch fish and she's a female, she's gonna go back. So, but right now we're definitely in, well into the post-spawn. That fish, 23 and a quarter, she went back. Just push through there, got my little, and that's gonna, indicate the tip of my rod which will hopefully indicate a strike so we'll keep an eye on that see that nice little glow you got going on right there so with the glow stick up there again it, it acts as a strike indicator so when you get a strike you can see your, your rod tip and also too it'll let you know that your lure is working whether you have weeds if you're fouled up if your if your line's twisted or something it'll, it'll actually uh, alarm you to reel up and, let, and uh, check your bait. So this one's set at one. 
130, let's go 133, and we're fishing. Tell me when you get to 30 so I can take that snap weight off. We're still right. going. Okay, you got it? We're going, trying to get a double. Okay, we're neutral, bud. Get on them. Get on them. Tell me when you get to 30. We're going to get that uh, snap weight off. Keep them out. Swing that up here. Swing that up here, bud. Right here. Hey. Tip, 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 tip. Go, 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 go. 15. 15. Yeah. He took out people, huh? He took out people. <laughs> Everybody. Here, put this up front. That's a good one, though. So we have these two rods on both sides are the same at the same length and so when he hit he peeled out just enough drag went over attached himself to this line and then we proceeded to fight him in so it's stuff that happens knife no excuse me i'm wrong that's off the spro that's off the snap weight okay yeah i don't know how he did that one because that one was only 80 feet out Wait, which one did he take out? Oh, you got him on the mat. I, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I totally spaced that. Yeah, you got him off the snap weight. We're 80 feet back on that one. And somehow, this guy just got us in a little cluster. But we'll be all right. We'll be okay. If you could hear this. If you run your nail through there, it actually has these little pockets in there. So that's kind of cool. That probably makes an added vibration in the water. We haven't re... Uh, applied any of the trophy walleye since our first drift and it usually lasts about that long it lasts a couple drifts so we'll just kind of just reapply it is that a bandit yeah yeah I'll go for it because i don't think we made a program yet because we still have that was a spro and a grinch two different styles here come the bugs baby Woo! you guys want to you sure you guys want to come night fishing you guys sure check it out this is the conditions you guys will be in Got bugs all over the place. <laughs> Justin's over there spitting some up. <laughs> As the saying goes, don't leave fish to find fish. Uh, the fish that we caught were kind of spread. Uh, walleye tend to school together. So we have a couple options. We could get up, move to a to totally different location, or we can start this same drift again, but we'll only go as the, to the furthest where we, la where we last caught our last fish and I have that marked on my graph here so again we're, we have two options we can move or we can start this drift over on top and then just fish till we caught our last fish because it's shown productive up there as opposed to from the last fish to where we're at right now we can kind of see the where we last kind of ended is coming up right here although I do have some more icons right here we'll probably end up what we'll end up doing is we're gonna just go to this icon right here and if we don't hit nothing right there, we're gonna definitely make a roof and it's kind of undecided right now. Uh, I'm kind of 50-50 on whether I'm gonna move up there or like I said, start back here in the same drift. I could actually, uh, we're actually gonna put this one in rotation right now with what we're doing. And I could kind of compare it to, look at that. It's a sweet lure. I could kind of compare it to what I have in my go-to box. And this is, this is, I'm actually gonna pull it out right here. It's a dark colored lure kind of the same deal it's the purples it's 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 just dark in nature these are these are pretty two similar lures this one is a is a midnight pattern by vertical which is proven and i don't see why a walleye would not hit this black dot pattern that actually looks pretty and i want to say those are uv we'll, we'll show you right now with the uv light yeah it is so hit that other light get that red off Kane, please just get that red part just hit the straight uv one that's fine that's fine right there so you'll notice and uv is kind of up in the air with walleye some people firmly believe in it and some firmly believe don't believe in it but i do i love a little uv and that that lure definitely has definitely has dots of it so i don't want to guarantee it but that's probably going to catch a fish <laughs> sometimes what i like to do is I'll go, I'll, I'll maintain my speed, 
and since I marked that fish relatively right under the boat I'll let it go just a little bit more after my mark I'll run the boat over the mark and then I'll just go neutral I'll neutralize the boat let the rods go slack and then engage the motor again what that does is sometimes that will entice a bite it's kind of like doing turns so what happens is if there was a fish following it and they were unsure if they wanted to attack or, or, or you know take your bait and then now they see it go neutral so it stops so then now it's got their interest and then when you engage your motor again it goes so then that's when it entices a bite that's when that walleye is like oh man I'm, this is an easy meal and they'll take it Easy, easy. Lift up. Lift up, bud. Nice neck. That didn't take long at all. Oh. Matt, turn off your light real quick. Show your light, Matt, real quick. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that UV. I'm a fan of it. I I believe in it. I like dark colors. So that, that lure has two things going for me. It has the dark color aspect, which I like. Wait, what the hell? There was a, there was a bug on the <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yeah, right, so that lure has two things that, that I like. Uh, I really favor dark colors, and I do like UV. And that lure has both. And what, we were in that drift, what, five minutes? Three minutes? Three, five minutes? Something like that? Three, five minute drift, and got a nice little heater.